with Shanna Francis with Realty Executive Southeast, and I've been doing a series of videos about what makes Waukesha great. And today I'm with John, who is the Managing Artistic Director of Waukesha Civic Theater, and this is a great place in downtown Waukesha. John, tell us a little bit more about the theater. How long has it been around? Well, the theater's been around since 1957. The community theater has been a part of the Waukesha community for a very long time, but Civic Theater itself was formed in 1957 by five members of the community that wanted to put on shows. And since then, 62 years later, we have put on almost 500 productions. Oh my gosh. 500? Mm -hmm. That's incredible. It is. So is it your job to pick out uh, what you're going to be focusing on, what the play will be? Part of it. We have, uh, we're have. we very involved in the community. We try to get community involved as much as possible across the board. So that specific process we call the Play Advisory Committee. And we have anywhere from 30 to 50 people participate. Mm -hmm. And we look at all kinds of titles. With this past uh, process, we had, I think, 52 titles that wow. we looked at. And then that committee narrows it down to a slate of seven main stage shows that I then present to our board of directors, and we approve and produce. Perfect. Well, I saw uh, this past weekend a play that you did. It was uh, a comedy uh, it was like murder in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. What was the title again? Musical Comedy Murders of 1940. It was absolutely fantastic. I thought the acting was just amazing. I thought they really did an incredible job for a two-hour uh, production. Yes. How would you go about choosing your actors for the... Well, our actors come from all over the, the Milwaukee metropolitan area. Okay. Most of them are from Waukesha County, but we have people from as far away as Germantown and, and uh, down to Cudahy and all over. Uh, so people really, I think, from what I've observed, people in the community want to get involved in something that they're passionate about. So mm -hmm. if they're interested in murder mysteries or comedies, that's the kind of show they might audition for. If they're interested in musicals, then they're going to audition for shows like Billy Elliot and Thoroughly Modern Millie. So we really have a wide variety of things to offer the community to get involved, both as participants and as patrons and, and people watching what we do. Well, what are the things you have coming up for the rest of the season? Oh, we have such a great slate. Our next show is Billy Elliot, the musical, which is uh, performing in the end of October through the no middle of November. Candy Cane Tales and Holiday Carols, which is a musical variety show. It's, there's a lot of music in it, a lot of comedy. Um, and then moving into 2019, the rest of our season goes through June of 2019. We have uh, The Underpants and Thoroughly Modern Millie <laughs> and uh, The Giver which is uh, based on the book, and that oh. one, we hope to have some school attendance. Oh, I can't wait uh, to see that. We have that. daytime performances, and then we uh, end the season with a show that I can't, I just completely lost my mind on that one. Well, I'll come back to it. Well, um, <laughs> if you wanted to see that list, I'm going to be doing a connection down below this video to their website, and you can go to their website and check it, check that out. Now, I know you're involved in more than just the Civic Theater as far as... Um, what's going on in, in Waukesha. Tell us a little bit more about what you're involved in. Oh, well, Waukesha is such a vibrant artistic community. There's not only the Waukesha Civic Theater, but there's the Philharmonic, mm -hmm. and there's uh, three three campuses that have their own arts programs. The galleries in downtown Waukesha are amazing. Mm -hmm. The artist uh, community in Waukesha is kind of mind-boggling for a city of our size. And so uh, I get involved in the community in a number of different ways. We have different partnerships in the school districts and with the ACAP, uh, which is the Adaptive Community Approach Program. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing a show with them, which comes up next week, or this coming week, the Thursday through Sunday, we have performances of Disability, the Evolution. And so um, we have lots of things going on, not just our main stage shows. We have a, uh, a year-round theater arts education program uh, for students of all ages. We well, go from right, age right four, here, right here. Yep. Oh, my. Age four to adult. We also have an outreach. Mm -hmm. Our um, director of the education program goes out into the school systems and, um, and brings the theater arts uh, scheduling and, and curriculum to schools. Wow. Mm -hmm. What an amazing gift that you are to the community of Waukesha. Oh, so I like if, to think so. Absolutely. <laughs> so if you are interested in more about what is going on with the Civic Theater and want to get your child involved in some of the ongoing projects, again, just click the link and go right to their website. And John, thank you for everything that you've done and oh. you're continuing to do for the city of Waukesha. My pleasure. And, and then again, check back later on for another edition of What Makes Waukesha Great.